This video is rapid revision of the liver and it's connected to that chapter human nutrition, more commonly known as digestion. I also want to update and to clarify. The liver is the largest gland in the body. It is located in the upper right region of the abdominal cavity just below the diaphragm. A previous exam question asked what was the location of the liver in relation to the stomach and in this year which was 2010, it was question 15 in 2010, these were the answers that were accepted. The liver is behind the stomach or to the right of the stomach or above the stomach and you can see these on the official marking scheme. I think those answers are in need of serious refinement so if I was doing my leaving cert today I would simply state that the liver is located to the right of the stomach. You must be able to describe the functions of the liver in list format. So number one is the production of urea. Urea is formed in the liver from the breakdown of nitrogen containing waste. This is really the breakdown of excess proteins in a process called deamination and urea is excreted in the urine. Number two, the production of bile. Bile contains salts. It does not contain enzymes. It emulsifies fats and it contains sodium hydrogen carbonate which acts in neutralising the acidic chyme. Number three, this is the breakdown of red blood cells. So old red blood cells get broken down in the liver. Number four is storing carbohydrate. So excess glucose is converted into glycogen. So it's stored as glycogen in liver and muscle cells and glycogen then can be reconverted back into glucose when it's needed. Number five, a very important role of the liver is the breakdown of toxins. Number six, the storage of fat soluble vitamins and fat soluble vitamins such as A, D, E and K and we remember them by saying a deck of cards. There is something else you should know about the liver. The liver produces a lot of heat and the reason why it produces all of this heat, it's down to its high metabolic activity. Lots of biochemical reactions taking place. The blood flow into and out of the liver is very important and this is one diagram that I would practice drawing. So let's start with the hepatic portal vein. It's leading from the small intestine towards the liver and it's carrying all of those nutrients that have been absorbed into the blood towards the liver. So it's really important that you always draw in arrows on your diagram as well. So all of the nutrients will be sent from the liver to all the cells over the body that require them. The hepatic portal vein is a portal system, a blood pathway that begins with capillaries and ends with capillaries. Note the hepatic artery leading directly into the liver and the hepatic vein leading out. So that was the liver. Best of luck.